Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back. I'm Jennifer from Joy of Stationery and for today's video I thought that I would kick off a sort of mini series on academic planning starting with today's video on my planner lineup for the academic semester fall 2024. So I'm familiar with the academic systems in the United States and now the United Kingdom and specifically Scotland and in the States as well as in the UK from what I understand the academic year tends to begin in the fall so fall of any given year and then extends into the spring and summer of the following calendar year. And for this moment I am preparing for the fall semester ahead fall 2024 and because I am an academic and I imagine this is the case for many other academics in these systems, as well as anybody who is involved with education and schooling in these systems. And so if you're a student, whether it's as an undergraduate student or as a graduate or postgraduate student, for so many of us, the academic year and the way we plan for the academic year really ends up shaping the way that we plan for our calendar years. At this moment, this we're just past the mid-mark of August of 2024. This also happens to be planner season in a lot of ways, so very much so for Hobonichi, for example. And as I think about what planners I will need to use in 2025, I find that so much of my thinking is really dictated by what I'm using right now and what I need going into the academic year ahead. So that starts a little bit earlier for me than 2025 in that I have this fall to kind of consider and what I can bring into, for example, next winter in 2025, winter and the spring and the semester or kind of the rest of the academic year in that regard. So I'm hoping that as part of this series, I'll be able to do a little bit more of a Techo Kaigi. For this one, which I'm intending to make just a short video, I just wanted to show you what I'm using as I prepare for the fall semester ahead. So what I have here in front of you are the Techo TS Techo bag from Hobonichi, and that um, has some of my crucial Techos within it, and I'll be showing you that. And then the other one here, you can see this is an A5 size notebook. This is actually the 2024 Day Free notebook by Hobonichi in the A5 size. This is the one that I actually did a video on a couple of videos ago. I just sort of changed out this cover here. I'm using a Midori clear cover and using the Hobonichi pencil boards to occasionally change out the look of the cover. So here I have this absolutely gorgeous illustration and diagram by Tomitaro Makino. Um, and it's, it's sort of these botanical illustrations from earlier in the 20th century, I believe. So this is my A5 day free. And then in this Techo bag, what I will be showing you are the other two key components of my academic year or academic semester at least setup. And that um, includes an A6 setup as well as a Hobonichi Weeks. And I just have some mild liners here. So as I approach the academic semester and the new academic year, I'm really thinking about a kind of three book system, if you will. And that's the A5 day free, the A6 day free, of that same year, so a 2024 version for this fall semester, and the Hobonichi Weeks. And so it's a very, um, very much a, a Hobonichi enthusiastic lineup that I have here. Two of these I have talked a little bit about on this channel previously, and that's the A5 Day Free that I was using for reading notes and research notes. And I had also experimented a little bit with doing a kind of weekly setup in here as well as journaling. And that was a really fun experiment. 
and something that I might do again in the future. But for the rest of the year and for this fall semester, what I really wanted to do was to be able to kind of reserve the rest of the pages for the kinds of academic and reading and other kinds of reference notes that I might need to take for the rest of the year without having to get an additional day-free notebook. So just wanting to kind of make sure that I have the rest of the pages to be able to use for its intended purpose. This here is my work companion weeks. This is in the Navy leather weeks for 2024. And I think that I introduced it onto my channel earlier, um, just a few months ago, perhaps. And while I have a kind of EDC weeks planner, I realized that while I was able to kind of fit in both personal and work in terms of just some of the organizational basics of scheduling and appointments in that EDC planner, when it comes to work, I'm needing more room to be able to do the kind of planning or project tracking that I need. So that's where this work companion weeks comes in. And this is where I can keep track on a weekly basis of the kinds of projects that I'm currently working on, as well as little notes on some of those projects. And that way, on, in any given week, I can flip to a page and see which projects I had prioritized for that week, what my pro um, sort of what my progress was on all of them. And I can also use the notes pages in the back for meetings and such. And because this is such a slim and portable planner, I love the Hobonichi Weeks, this is really easy to kind of grab and go if I need to go to a meeting and take some, some quick notes there without it taking up too much room. This here then is the newest part of my setup as I enter into the fall semester. And this is my A6 setup. So here I just have the, what is really a kind of beautifully sleek navy A6 cover. And this is an option that Hobonichi provides, I believe every year. So in any given year, and I think they'll continue to offer this, you can get the, the navy a6 colors cover and it's just really wonderfully kind of sleek again and, and it feels very streamlined to me. So in this setup I have three books I've actually got. So here we have the Hobonichi 2024 day free in the um, A6 size this time around. I've got the Hobonichi A6 Weekly Supplement. This is just in the spring, and that allows me to kind of map out on a weekly basis the, um, the year into or through March 31st in 2025. So that kind of covers a lot of the, the kind of um, teaching or classes-based parts of the calendar for me. Um, so I have this here, and then I also have this mini kind of notebook. This is the Hobonichi Memo Pad in the A6 size. It comes in a pack of three, so once I'm done with this, I can always kind of move to the next one, and they're really quite um, inexpensive. And so these are the three things that I have in here. So let me just do a just a quick touch upon what each of these books is serving for. As I mentioned, the A6 day free, or I'm sorry, the A5 day free is really where I've been keeping track of my notes. And so that includes reading notes for different kinds of things, as I mentioned before, and as I've shown before, but also more kind of detailed reference notes. For example, maybe the stages of your career or of your progress in, um, in completing a degree, for example. So I have, say, promotional criteria here that I'm jotting down and kind of keeping track of. And that way, this book kind of gives me that space as an A5 notebook to take those more long form notes as well as keep track of more long form kinds of references and information that I need in any given year or really kind of any given semester. So that's what I'm using the A5 day free for. The weeks, as I mentioned before, I've been using really as a kind of project tracker. So in any given week, being able to keep track of what projects 
are kind of active and what have been prioritized for that week. And it gives me a way to just quickly look back and see some quick notes or brainstorming for various projects and kind of where they were at at the time. Alongside the project tracking in the weeks pages, I can also use the notes pages in the back um, for various kinds of meeting notes and occasionally some reference notes as well. So this is a smaller form factor than the A5 size, but that makes it really portable if I wanna, if I need to kind of go to a meeting or go to another place to be able to carry something with me that I can take notes in, as well as keep track of my projects in that very handy kind of weekly setup. So here then in terms of the A6 day free, what I realized that I was needing and that I wanted to keep a little bit separate from my project tracking and my more long form reading notes and other kinds of academic and professional notes is specifically a book where I can kind of contain my teaching. So in a future video, I'll go over the evolution of my academic planning system. For now, what I just wanted to kind of mention is that this uh, as a day free that has um, blank pages rather than dated pages, I'll be able to use these kind of different spreads as my lesson planning and really be able to kind of use these pages for any kinds of course notes, class notes, anything that kind of comes up. And therefore, the goal is really to have a semester's worth of teaching in one book that I can kind of refer back to. And this is really handy in terms of having the um, monthly calendar as well. And uh, what I also uh, decided to kind of do is, you can see I've kind of color-coded these weeks. Um, and so the, the ones where I've done a little bit of using mild liners to color code those weeks, those are for the weeks of, of the semester. And that gives me, I think, just a quick visual to sort of see what's happening during the, um, during the academic semester in terms of teaching as well as sort of between teaching. So here, by the time we get to January, and this is what I like about the day free books as well, is that they do continue giving you the monthly pages into March, I believe. Yep, until March. So I can continue to map out what I need to map out for the following semester, whilst still kind of containing this semester's work really within the confines of one book. I wanted to supplement this with the weekly supplement because although the monthlies and then having the undated kind of free flexible spaces should work really well for me in terms of the kind of notebook I need for teaching, it also is really helpful for me to visualize the week in terms of time blocking and where different kinds of appointments are landing in any given week as well as kind of class times and I have used this in the past before um, it's been a little while but I thought that I would kind of bring this out to try out again for this semester and see how it worked in tandem with the day free so what I like about this is the way that even though this is so kind of tiny in a way I can very kind of easily see where um, where things are kind of occurring in the week. It's very easy to time block precisely because it is so compact. And again, on any given week, sort of, you know, be able to see, I haven't, you know, set it up completely just yet, but start to get a sense of where different classes are, other kinds of meetings are showing up in any given week. And it gives me that really easy visual from week to week as we progress in the semester. Finally, what I wanted to use this for is actually a way to, if, if I need to have a little bit more macro planning on any given day, I've been using this then 
as a kind of flexible space for quick rapid logging, so bullet journal style for each day. This is because I may not necessarily need this for every single day, but sometimes it helps to have that space to be able to kind of plan more on the Mac micro, sorry, ma micro daily level because I'm not using a dated Tacho for this. This is all I really need. If I feel like that's really important, I can keep that. And the um, what I like about the A6 memo pads is that they're actually perforated pages. So I can, if I wanted to save it, I can kind of remove it with the perforated edges and affix that into you know some of the pages here. And something that I kind of put aside as I was trying to show this, oh, see, so this is one example of it where I mapped out what the teaching semester is kind of looking like. So I do have monthly calendars, but it can help me a lot just to be able to kind of visualize the semester at a glance in terms of what it's looking like um, as a whole <laughs> across months and across weeks in this way. So I was able to do this in the memo pad and um, sort of take this out and I can either attach that inside of my notebook or um, another idea that I have for this is I do have a clear Midori um, notebook cover that I can reuse on here and then I can slip it in the front and that way I kind of have it as a really easy reference right when I kind of open up the the cover and and you know access my materials in here. You can see that here I have another one. This is a little bit um, more time extended from just the teaching semester itself to account for assessments and the way that some of those assessment and feedback and marking or grading deadlines fall beyond the time that you're teaching or fall beyond the time that you're meeting for class, right? And so having this all on one page, I will probably um, be removing this from the page and this might actually be the one that I keep on the front here. So in any case, I just wanted to kind of share this with you. I'm really happy with how compact this system is and that's really important for me in terms of just kind of portability and being able to kind of bring it around and feel like I have, feel like it's kind of manageable in terms of the planning and the scheduling. So here is my three-part um, setup for the academic semester ahead. I am always in the process of thinking about how I can improve my academic planning just because I find that there are so many moving parts to an academic career and also if you are a student as well there are just so many different kind of moving parts with taking classes with perhaps taking on a job or two or more extracurricular activities things like that because academia is so dynamic in that way but also has certain constants for example you know the academic year will always begin for me in fall of any given year and kind of extend until the next year. So having those kinds of predictable rhythms, but also the dyna uh, dynamic aspect of things where things are not always going to be exactly the same, gives me a lot of food for thought for how I plan and what I can do to improve my planning. So I'm, I'm excited to try this out for fall semester. And at least for now, my plan is to do something very similar to this in the spring semester. So that's what I'm thinking about as I look ahead to 2025 and think about what my Tacho lineup, what my, um, what my kind of planner lineup is going to be there. I hope that this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.